From so many free V-Bucks and cosmetic rewards upcoming in events starting soon to the live event happening this season and storyline developments we know so far, as 24.20 has just been put onto the staging servers, we've got it all to cover today, so make sure you stick around until the end. Real quick, Peely says he wants you to drop a like right now to help out the algorithm, and for no other reason than that, so do it for his honesty. Diving straight into it, although the first thing we need to note of, of course, with 24.20 being put onto the staging servers, the second update of five this season, going all the way up to 24.50 in terms of downtime updates. Once an update gets put onto the staging servers, it means it's releasing next week as data miners have clarified, which right now we have no confirmation date or day for, but it's possibly going to be around the 10th, 11th or 12th. This of course will be bringing our page to Erin Yeager rewards, which data miners have already determined are upcoming, thanks to a loading screen under Erin's codename anyways in the files clear radius being worked on. And as there's no loading screen right there now on the reward section for him and no page 2 of question marks like we saw for Geralt that we can look at before their release, it's safe to say Epic Games wanted to surprise us with this huge collaboration skin this season. After all, the ODM gear is going to be revolutionary in terms of a weapon or transportation method as it's kind of like the mythic web slingers or grapple glove, but offensive at the same time, allowing us to eliminate players shown in the trailer. Despite the countdown for this landing on April 15th, I have a feeling they'll release it with 24.20 as soon as downtime lifts, which could be again on the 10th, 11th or 12th. And before we move on to free V-Bucks, nearly 2,000 that literally everybody can get, so make sure you don't go anywhere. Look how insanely close we are to 2.53 million subscribers. Hit the subscribe button right now, turn on all notifications, it only benefits you at the end of the day as I do try and give 5 people off my friends list who subscribed, commented what they'd like below and their Epic Games ID and who knows, you could be showcased in the next video. Me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop, literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter so enter it if you haven't already. A skin that should be in the item shop when you're watching right now that I actually got granted early off Epic Games for being in that locker program is Festival Lace off the Fortnite surveys which has finally come to the game. Epic Games have really stepped up the item shop lately, releasing a lot of cool looking skins for a little amount of V-Bucks, including this one, which technically could be free to a lot of you, which are eligible to get nearly 2,000 V-Bucks, again that we're going to be mentioning in just a second, as these are going to come in an event though, an event that you need to be made aware of before that, that actually could come along with a free skin to earn, is Fortnite X Coachella. As you can see on April 3rd, this was brought to our attention by Fire Monkey, Fortnite X Coachella, website description, the Fortnite X Coachella event runs between April 13th through April 23rd, and the Coachella Island loading screen in Fortnite by completing tasks from the Fortnite X Coachella website and there actually is apparently two weeks of challenges. Never before have Fortnite done an event over two weeks to simply just give us a loading screen so definitely expect more free rewards just like we saw for the Easter event as this lasted around two weeks too but potentially also a free skin. Here's one of the Fortnite surveys that definitely does fit the criteria to be upcoming then whether it's in the item shop or earned for free and speaking of survey skins that you'll be happy to know about are upcoming very soon or are being worked on very quickly that we need to mention. Despite these two complementing the theme of this season being a Neo Japan or traditional Japan theme called Koi Kingdom, apparently according to Wensa we have updated data for the Tiger Root coding for creative challenges apparently this update, likely with the wrap as a reward but he doubts it'll be the Tiger skin which obviously you've seen on screen. Next up we have a speculated skin on screen, this fox like character which is supposedly going to be maybe Star Stray worked on in the files. A new version of Joey is being worked on currently in the files too which could be this one off the surveys, and also this new version of Orin apparently under the name Orin Chai, finally which won't come until Winterfest or Christmas this year, being the gingerbread aerial assault trooper as now he has a back bling and dual wield harvesting tool in the files. Even more interestingly apparently they're working on a mummy skin which is most likely this from the Fortnite surveys, and then speaking of skins most interestingly but not on the surveys, apparently the normal Mr. Beast skin was supposed to get its own back bling but it was scrapped apparently codename backpack underscore lettuce. The reason this is huge is because they could potentially be replacing, as we know Reboot Rally got leaked to be upcoming soon, with the Mr. Beast Brella Umbrella, which obviously people would be mad about if you're one of the 100,000 top scoring players on his creative island that already got it. Not only that, but these rewards, if they're not placeholders, of course the glider is worth 1200 V-Bucks, which you'll get granted back if you already own it when the event starts, and then this Matrix looking coding wrap is 500, so obviously you'll get that totaling up for 1700, instead of the Mr. Beast Brella Umbrella, as it's not determined they're 100% all upcoming these cosmetics now, could they actually bring his back bling as a free reward in Reboot Rally? I definitely think it would incentivize earning it. Last but not least, however, the biggest magnitude reward in terms of its effect coming back is the smallest being the sticker. This was in the Battle Pass of Chapter 1 Season 6, despite it being in the free section. I know they can't bring back prior Battle Pass rewards. If they do this, it opens opportunity to eventually this become the new norm, leading to potentially the Black Knight and even OG skins such as the Reaper returning. As for some more V-Bucks, make sure to go and follow me over on Instagram. 
I'm going to be posting random amounts of V-Book cards on my stories, and I don't have a huge following over there, so get in there early before obviously everything starts to blow up and such, so you have a higher chance of getting them. As for some other potential free V-Books, however, Epic Games has begun to grant this particular spread I can't pronounce to those who participated in an old community battle event. Despite this not correlating directly to any form of V-Books, of course this being what the spread looks like in a larger form. Don't forget it got leaked that we're going to be seeing a new community battles event soon, granting us this particular bat bling, obviously shown in the foreign promo asset that wasn't in the English language. Typically throughout a community battles event, the reason I mentioned free V-Books here is because throughout the stages of challenges we do get a small amount at least. Despite all of that being good news, it's not all that for the world of Fortnite, as Activision reportedly now from Modern Warzone have begun issuing DMCA takedowns for Call of Duty content that has been recreated in Fortnite Creative 2.0, and that we probably won't ever see the dance recreated in Fortnite due to the risk of wasting all that time for no reason as they've now removed creator codes from being easily entered on machines or these devices to actually benefit the creator. And although we only have a few more days to earn all of the spring breakout rewards so get grinding if you haven't already as your reminder. According to Wenzo we have a free pickaxe apparently upcoming for something challenge reward related which is this being like a lighter version of the cat's claw harvesting tool. Who knows maybe this could be a free reward in one of the events that we've already mentioned are upcoming but speaking of events one that we definitely know is happening or should be this season anyways to correlate to prior chapters the first live event storyline wise always happens in season 2. As for how they've teased the magnitude of this it's going to be big. This promo art of Eren Jaeger in Fortnite looking up at this cyber dragon implies there's giant foes for us to take on like the colossal titan artwork obviously being the inspiration behind this Fortnite recreation piece. The cyber dragon right now only lets us know well when the storm has actually come in by breathing out this digital air. It does actually have thrusters and even machine guns equipped on it though so could we see something similar to the scale of the final showdown this season as it not only seems that this chapter is going in reverse to the themes of chapter 1 for instance the second to last chapter chapter 1 season 9 was this neo theme in chapter 1 if we are going in reverse then that means we see a volcanic like POI introduced next season as this was the case prior to chapter 1 season 9 obviously being chapter 1 season 8 many people speculate the outskirts of Mega City also is an inactive volcano as we already know hot air is kind of coming up from inside it due to geysers putting us up in the air and equipping our glider on top of it. Despite this seeming what the community wants to see for now, it's undetermined as there's so many storyline plot holes or developments that potentially could be made from so many angles as Echo outlined here. Story plot lines that are being teased heavily, Geno's grand return, last seen in Zero War, Amy rescuing the scientist from the last reality, the Seven being corrupted by the last reality for their evil versions that we saw in Amy's voice recordings, and then the last reality preparing for another huge attack on reality Zero. Apparently we are still in reality Zero, although we saw it get blown up as Donald Mustard briefly had his location set to this in his Twitter bio, which now looks like this. And speaking of next season, as we also briefly mentioned Jenna from the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comics, something that was brought to my attention from Fitzy right here, which was more of a meme tweet, was the following. Give us Miles and Spider-Man 2099 on June 2nd. Take our V-Bucks with screenshots of both of them. Of course, Miles Morales Across the Spider-Verse releases on June 2nd, which is when this season goes through until, speculated by many for then Miles Morales to be the unlockable skin like Eren Yeager this season. We also got a look at a different version of Miles Morales on the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comic kind of cover artwork alongside Spider-Man 2099 that never came for the game as a skin. It makes total sense for Miles Morales to be the next secret or unlockable skin halfway through Chapter 4 Season 3 alongside then having Spider-Man 2099 complimenting by coming to the item shop. Drop a like if you want this to come true and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads. But as for where you go to now click this video I picked out for you specifically whilst you wait for the very next one I do publish on the channel.